Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Progetto M35 Mod 46. It's the Tier 8 Italian Premium Auto Reloading Medium. It's located on the defending spawn of Erlenberg Assault. And this one is under the command of Slime Meerkat. Now, the very last replay we featured was also him in another Progetto, but that was the heavy tank. This is the medium which has become very popular by a lot of people and if you um, use the code that North American Wargaming gave out over the weekend you probably had one of these in your garage and were having a bit of fun with it. Now as I mentioned it's got an auto reloader. It's a 90mm gun which is capable of automatically reloading as you fire the shots. The more shells you fire, oh, now that was uncalled for and that will cost him a high calibre because even if he does get the highest score in the game by shooting into his teammate the way he did there, in fact his platoon mate, is going to cost him any medals. So you don't do that and I keep telling people but they keep ignoring it and they keep losing medals as a consequence. Well yes as I was saying the longer the more shells you fire the longer the reload becomes. Normally by the book the third shell the first shell that loads takes 10.35 seconds the second one takes 7.77 seconds and the third one takes only 6.9 seconds to reload but I'm pretty sure that uh, Slime Meerkat's shells will load quite a bit faster than that because he's probably got vents and a good crew. He won't have a rammer though, simply because you can't put a rammer in this vehicle because Wargaming have stopped that. Uh, they, the, they've adjusted the auto reloading to take that into account. The first tank he's firing at is Bisonte. It's the new Italian premium reloading medium, auto reloading medium, which is a heavy tank get it right. <laughs> That's the one they put out in the loot boxes at Christmas. It's actually even slower at reloading than this thing is. Okay, he's got himself into a good position now in the woods, but a well-known position. And his first round goes through the Basante, second does. He doesn't fire the third one until he's got the next round in. And you can see that he's now got to reload all the shells. And the first one, 9.86. The second one, 8.77. And the third one is going to be... Or is it the third one is 8.77? Oh, they're loaded. trying to choose which one he actually goes for. I think those tanks are overlapping there. I'm pretty sure that the um, Bisonte is ahead of the um, Canonan Jagdpanzer. Firing into the T-28. Can he get the kill shot? I don't think so. I think he's behind the house now. Only 10 hit points left though, which makes him an easy kill for someone. Now the best thing with an auto reloader like this is to actually only fire two shells at the most and let the thing automatically reload so you have maximum DPM but if you uh, if you can just fire one round and just let it reload then you'll have a much better DPM overall. But there's a temptation to fire all the rounds as soon as you've got a target to maximize the amount of damage it's probably not the best thing to do because it means that you will actually be missing out on getting a faster damage rate as i mentioned earlier it's 240 alpha with the uh, standard ap you penetrate up to 212 millimeters of armor and with the apci it goes up to 259 Okay, he's crossed the river because he can see that Lerva and the T-32. They're in the main street, but I think they're going to get taken out. Rob, the Lerva is now facing the IS-22 and an IS-3. And just over there, he spotted a Progetto just south of the buildings. No shots. Okay, we've taken care of the tanks on this side of the river. So it's a good job he did relocate. He might be able to get shots on that Bisonte across the river there. So 
So a lot of inexperienced players playing these tanks that they've received over Christmas. First round into a Tiger 2. I think he'll empty all of these, these rounds. Yes, gets the kill. He almost got uh, blocked there by his platoon mate in the Star 1. But luckily he um, pulled back out and uh, he didn't shoot him accidentally. But it wouldn't have mattered anyway because he has already accidentally shot him, which means that he has disqualified himself from that uh, high caliber. And well, there's a Progetto 54 just around the corner. And he's going for the Lurver instead. He won't penetrate at that angle. It's too high. He can penetrate that guy though. Puts one into the Progetto. And the second one. Now, what's he going to do? Is he going to wait? He takes one 105mm round from the Progetto 54, but he's circling the guy and takes out the enemy with another shot. He let that reload while he was doing the death circle. Now, that Lurver's still up ahead of him, but he's just around on the riverside. Oh, and there he goes. Which means now there's only five enemies remaining. As far as we know, the Bisonte's on this side. Pretty sure the same Bisonti we saw earlier. Yes, because the enemy team only have one Bisonte, and now he's a dead Bisonte. He's back in the garage. Up on the hill, though, we've got a real major threat, though. That's the Barask. He's one of three enemy tanks remaining, but he is quite deadly. And he just got hit by a Strid S1, who's obviously in those trees. So he needs to be under the shadow of this hill in defilade so that they can't fire at him. The Striv is um, quite a good assassin. Again, another 105mm gun. And the Barras made a fantastic um, escape to the south. Well, critical hit on him but didn't get a damage that he did on that one. And he's trying to do that, even though he knows there's a strip nearby. There's the enemy star across the river. Or as he knows this side of the river. But where is that strip? I think he is actually up in the tree line still, because I don't think he could get away that quickly without being seen. Slides let the shells go back in, and he's ready to go. There's the strip. Okay, he is in the tree line. Okay, th put three shots in. There's the shell reload and got three nice shots into two nice shots into the strip and one of his shots tracked the guy so he's picking up damage assist but now we've got the problem of the Barask. The strip is gone. Potential high caliber, well 20% of the enemy hit pool for Slime Meerkat but as I said he won't get the medal simply because he shot his teammate at the start of the game. So there you go, it looks like he's going to miss out on a medal in this game. The FB4202 taken down by the Star 1, he's going to go straight through that gap. Go around the corner and shoot the guy in the ass. There you go. One, and he got a fire, and there's the kill shot. The Scorpion G took the kill. And that's it, game's over. And it's a victory. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And here's the end of battle results. It was an ace tanker for Sly Meerkat in the Progetto M35 Mon 46. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 10. He got a fire for effect for doing more damage in the hit points for his own vehicle. And he got a confederate medal for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. But no high caliber. I guess why. I, I wonder why I should say not I guess why. Um, let's have a look at the team scores and we'll see why. Yep, he did have the highest damage, but because he was, well, I will say silly, not stupid. I'll say he was silly to shoot his teammate for no reason at the start of the game. And as a consequence of that, he missed out on the high caliber medal because he did have the highest damage. He did have 20% of the enemy hit pull. But as a as a, a response for him being silly, he actually gave up on the high caliber and didn't get it. 
The uh, next highest scorer on damage was the Carnarvon, who only got 2,299, but he didn't get the high caliber either, probably because he didn't get 20% of the enemy hit pool in total, and that's why he was disqualified from that point. Uh, when it came to the next highest damage, that was actually the Louvre on the enemy team, 2,050. When it came to kills, again, it's Sly Meerkat with three kills, and he had the same number as the Star 1. And two kills went to the Scorpion, the FB4202, the Canadian, and the IS-3. When it came to base XP, it's Sly again. 1,441 base, 1,013 went to the Canadian, and those were the only two players who managed to get over 1,000. The Star 1 on his own team got 980, that's his platoon mate. So he wasn't mucking about, he was really getting some damage in, but not quite as much as uh, Sly was on this occasion. But you can see Sly did get the top in all three columns, but missed out on a medal because he shot his teammate. So don't shoot your teammates. 27 shots fired, 24 direct hits, 20 penetrations, damage of 4,890 hit points, of which 674 were at more than 300 meters. Two hits received, both penetrated, I'm afraid, yes, because the armor on this tank is very, very weak. It's only 60 millimeters on the hull at the front. Uh, 30 on the sides and 20 on the rear and then the turret it's only 80 60 25 so most shots are going to go straight through at this level any 90 millimeter just overwhelm the armor and go straight in and do the damage it's unfortunate but it's true they built these tanks with the aim of being fast and being very good gun platforms but they didn't intend to try and armor them simply because they thought that any anti-tank missile would take out these tanks anyway so there's no point in putting huge amounts of armor on all you're doing is wasting the fuel to try and cart that armor around when it's not actually going to do anything Two enemy vehicles were spotted, nine enemy vehicles were damaged, three were killed, and 276 hit points of damage assistance. He earned 87,656 credits on the game, got 39,445 in battle payments, total of 184,077 credits altogether. And because he used standard ammo throughout, he made a huge profit of 168,433 credits altogether. He also picked up 1,441 XP for the game, 8,648 from personal missions payout, 216 for this being a premium vehicle, and because he was in platoon, he also picked up another 324, meaning that he took away 11,350 experience points altogether. That's going to cause his crew skills to jump quite a nice amount uh, off the uh, straight off with that because um, it's almost as much as you would earn for, well, it's half as much as the amount when you use one of those boosters. So not, not bad at all. So if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like, do subscribe to our channel, leave a comment down below, and please don't shoot your teammates. If you do, you miss out on medals. Slime your cat missed out on high caliber in this one, and he needn't have done it because it was entirely his own fault. Thanks for watching.